What's going on YouTube? My name is Lutetium Tech and today I'm going to show you how to create a bootable Ubuntu Mate USB drive in four minutes or less. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is open up your internet browser and navigate to ubuntu-mate.org. This link will be in the description of the video. From here we can click the download page and then select 64-bit PCs and Macs. From here we will now be taken to the choose a release page. There will be usually two releases you can choose from. I recommend always choosing the one with LTS beside the version number, as this one here will be supported for longer and is usually more stable. Now we will be taken to the download page, and I usually recommend doing direct download unless you know what these two are. From here we can use the direct download, and it will begin the download onto our system, which can take between 5 and 20 minutes based on your internet speed, but it can sometimes take longer. It will either ask you where you want to save the file, in which case I recommend your downloads folder, or it will just automatically start the download like it did for me, and that means it will normally be downloaded to your downloads folder. Now while that's downloading, please make sure to like and subscribe the video because it really helps me out to continue creating these videos, because not only does it help YouTube to actually recommend the videos because it thinks they're doing better in the algorithm, but it also allows me to keep doing what I like because I know you guys are actually enjoying the videos. So make sure to click the like and subscribe button just at the bottom of the video. So now that that download is complete, I've opened up my downloads folder here, and you can see that I have the Ubuntu made.iso image in my downloads folder. Next, we're going to have to download a way to flash this onto a USB stick. So open a new tab and navigate to etcher.bolina.io. And of course, this link will also be in the description of the video. This will take us to the Bolina official site where we can click the green download etcher button. This will take us to the bottom of the page where we can find the Etcher for Windows x86 x64 installer. Simply click the download button and the download should automatically start just like for the Ubuntu Mate ISO. Once again, you might have to choose to save it in your downloads folder, but if it doesn't ask, just assume it will be in your downloads. So now that Bolina Etcher is downloaded, I can open my downloads folder and you'll see that I have the Bolina Etcher setup exe file. Double click this to run it and you'll be asked whether you want to agree to the license. So click I agree, and it will begin the installation of Belena Etcher onto your computer. You might be asked to grant system privileges to Belena Etcher so they can actually install. If it does ask you for that, just click the yes button. Once it's finished the install, Belena Etcher will appear on our screen as it does here. And then the next step is simply to find the Ubuntu made ISO file that we downloaded and drag and drop that onto the flash from file button right here. That will preload everything. And assuming that you already have your USB device plugged in, it should appear here. Now, a quick note before we click flash, make sure that your USB stick is completely erased and that everything is backed up because when we click flash, it will fully erase everything on the USB drive and make it unrecoverable. I also recommend unplugging any other USB sticks and SD cards that you're not actually wanting to flash here. The only external drive that should be plugged into your PC should be the one that you're okay with losing all the data on. And in the event that this here doesn't show up, it doesn't have your flash drive that's already plugged into your PC. If it doesn't show up here, you can just click change and find your USB stick from this list and then simply just select it so that it has the blue check and click select one. And now as you can see, just going through it again, you want to make ISO image, the Lexar USB device or whatever, whoever makes your USB drive and then click the flash button. It will ask you to provide system administrator privileges. Just click yes so they can actually access the drive. And with that, it will begin the flash of your USB drive. Depending on the speed of your computer and the USB drive, this could take a couple minutes to, in some cases, an hour, but normally it's only 10 minutes for my computer at least. And that's it. Once this finishes flashing and verifying, you will have a fully bootable Ubuntu Mate USB drive in four minutes or less. My name is Lutetium Tech. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad that you were able to get some help in this video. And make sure to let me know in the comments if this video helped you out and if you have any more suggestions for cool videos that I can do. My name is Lutetium Tech. Thanks for watching.